Kwame Brown. This man has been on social media, on YouTube specifically, cooking. And as he would say, my mama's cooking. And it's been a sight to see, very entertaining, hilarious. The man uh, could have been a stand-up comedian in my opinion, but we have to dive into uh, some of the very important things he also said. And make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button before I get to this video. And click on my link fly. Always link at the top of the description box on my videos. Click on that and subscribe and follow to me at Young Manhood. And if you want to send a contribution my way, I appreciate the blessing as always. But dive into this story. Um, there are so many videos that could be made just based off of the stream of just magnificent statements he's made he's made so many profound statements during these lives it's not even funny outside of the roasting and the clowning which was uh, very hilarious um, outside of that he just made a lot of good points in general um, things outside of his uh, personal conflicts with various different people um, within the sports industry um because he spoke about matt barnes um uh, St uh stephen jackson um skip bayless oh stephen a he called him a turtle without the shell he was just going in on so many different levels um but between the roasting he was definitely dropping gems of knowledge as well and uh, revealing um, his perspective when it comes to the current direction of society and what I was not surprised by whatsoever is the fact that he spoke out against Biden supporters the Democrats he spoke out against their behaviors as of late because th that is something that i thought was significant that he was pointing out because he made a lot of profound statements outside of just all of his roasting um he also talked about how when it comes to a traditionally masculine man like a kwame brown how that th these type of men are not as accepted in society as we should be because i also Put myself in that category as well as a more traditionally masculine man and we are the type of men that he was referring to when he said oh that they gonna call you toxic just for just for being a man a man being a man is toxic a man showing any type of traditional masculinity is just being branded as toxic so he was making so many good points left and right things that I totally agree with and um, not very surprised that he is not a fan of the Democrats and uh, Goofy is Charlemagne the God he he injected himself in a situation uh, got roasted as he should and then he sent him a cease and desist letter like a Goofy so um, it's just been a very interesting uh, situation to watch play out um, but according to Kwame Brown, he stayed silent for 20 years and he just held this in um, until Matt Barnes finally awokened the dragon. And as we can see, uh, he's been breathing that fire ever since. And I'm sure he's not done yet because he's been going live just two, three, four times a day, just um, doing his thing and um, dropping gems in between the roasting. And we're gonna go ahead and um, listen to some of the gems he dropped in regards to the Democrats. Motherfuckers crazy. Can't, can't talk one policy, can't say one thing. I, hey, look here, I said a long time ago, I got people calling my phone all the time. I got, I don't know how the hell all these people get my number, the Democrat registry and all this shit. Are you voting for Joe Biden? I said, well, what is his policy? Like, he gonna let you know after the, uh, you can go online. I, I, I went online. I saw the tax plan. I saw this. I saw that. I don't.
Half of black America. What's going on? Oh, we gonna talk about? Oh no, I ain't. Uh oh. -uh. Till I hear the debate, I'll call you back. Like shit, I don't want to hear that shit. I'm not one of them scared Negroes. I'm me. Shit. Get on the line and try to talk all smart. Oh, well, you know, I went to school and I would. Oh, yeah, you did. You went to school and all that. Okay, yeah. You've been voting for the Democrats this whole time. Uh, so have I and everybody else. And what do we have to show for it? Well, you know, they're trying to combat racism. Well, why the fuck they ain't do it in 60 years then? Well, you know, we're still working on it. Man, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear it. I'm up to here with all these excuses that people make. But they say. They won. I can't see this shit. I can't see that good. But anyway, I, I'm just so tired. You fake woke Negroes, man. Y'all y'all are the worst thing to the black community. You fake woke niggas because you fake woke niggas won't allow independent thought. Because I don't care who you vote for. I ain't never cussed nobody out for voting for the Democratic Party. I ain't never called nobody a coon or a disrespectful name. None of that. You motherfuckers, uh, you, you guys that, that do that, not all Democrats do that, but the guys who do that, y'all are the new version of the KKK. The white folks don't got to do nothing. Y'all are the new version of the KKK because you try to intimidate, you try to exile black folks, and you try to cancel them because they don't agree with you. And that's sad. You act like you're doing something righteous for doing that. The Democratic Party is our people. So you gonna hurt another black man for the white people that you like? You a fool. So as you can see, Kwame Brown is really shooting in all directions, so to speak. And I think he is hitting his targets dead on. That's just my take on it.